That looks delicious. That was one of the, that's okay, you can use, you can drink it. Tis the season for warm food and drinks and spices. And here to help explain the science behind them, our very own kitchen scientist, Stan Kohler is with us. Hello, Hello. cheers. And cheers cheers to some spice cider. Wait, 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 wait. what are we drinking? What are we drinking? <laughs> yes. I got, see how there's, I'm you've not going to put this to my spice cider. There, I know. It's totally safe. Okay. It smells good. Let them go first. Oh. But nice. I think a lot of times we don't actually know what's, you know, the spices that are in spice cider, the flavors of the winter. I want to go open we, presents now. Uh, well, you, you're going to have to wait for that. Oh, okay. early. But we, a lot of times we don't know where those spices come from, right? So cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, we don't even oh. know what they are. Okay. Let's look at them quickly because we've got a bunch here. So cinnamon actually is the bark of a tree. And we've got, I mean, we've got a picture of that. They, they carve, they actually slice. Oh. Those, these sticks are, are formed when they slice the bark of the tree and it dries and it rolls right up. Oh. Wow. Next up, we've got cloves. So spices can yeah. be from the hardier parts of plants, right? They're not always the green parts. They're not the leaves. They're not the stems. They are the, frequently they are the bark. They're the seeds. They're the roots. They come from other parts. So cloves are actually the buds of a flower. We've got a picture of that too. Mm -hmm. That's what a clove looks like when it's fresh. Wow. Oh, how Very different. And nutmeg, which is coming up next. Nutmeg is actually the seed. It's in the center of a fruit that grows in Southeast Asia. Okay. Kind of picture that right here too. It's right in the middle of it, and uh, and the, and see that red wrapping that's around the nut, the what? nutmeg. That's called mace, and that's what we've got here. That's this yellow. So when it dries, it goes from red to yellow, it's and mace? it's it's called mace. It's what do you a, use mace for? Mace is a more subtle version of nutmeg. So oh. you, you smell it right here. Yeah, I do. Oh, freshly ground. How nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted in, the, oh. in my kitchen. Yeah. And uh, finally, That's on lovely. this line, we've got allspice. And allspice is one of those big misnomers. We think allspice actually means in your recipe you've got cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, which is yeah. not true. Allspice is actually its own spice. It comes from the Caribbean. It's uh, it's sort of a, a West Indies spice, and it was so named because uh, when the British were imperializing that part of the world around the you know 1600s, they they thought it tasted like everything, so they called it allspice. But it is actually like a juniper berry. It comes from the juniper bush. Mm. Now, how long no. will... Like, <laughs> like, like, round yeah. one. Yeah. Round one, we're done. <laughs> on to round two. Let's discuss the difference between herbs and spices, shall we? Let's yes. That's I what think I was just going to ask you. I, I read your mind. Okay. <laughs> so, herbs and spices, sometimes we use those words interchangeably. Most of the time, though, herbs, for the purpose of the kitchen, herbs refer to everything sort of that grows above the ground, right? So we're looking at leaves and stems, and, and, the, er, and the spices are the other parts of that. So right, we've got bark, we've got buds, we've got um, the the seeds inside, and we've got berries that are dried. Seeds and, and spices really can last much longer than herbs, and that's why we use them in the winter, because throughout the summer, we're using fresh herbs. They grow abundantly, but come wintertime, especially 100 or 200 years ago, you couldn't keep basil into the winter. You could dry it, but it wasn't going to keep very long. How right? long are we talking? Ah, it's a good, very good yeah. question. So ground, so once you grind the spices, they immediately begin to lose their flavor because the flavor is held in something called volatile organic compounds. Now, VOCs are held on the surface. They're, they're little oil cells that are in every spice. And as soon as they're ground, they are released into the air. So I've got some cloves right here. This is why we suggest that you keep whole spices on hand as opposed to ground spices and you get a, a spice grinder because the minute you grind them, all of those oils are released, they're released in the air and they're called volatile because they evaporate instantly. So when you have ground spices at home, if you're buying some jars of them at home, you can keep them for somewhere between three and six months. Now they don't go bad, they're not going to make you sick past six months, but they will dramatically lose flavor. Where should you no, keep them? Interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, medicinally, uh, is it good for, do, do they have any vitamin um, components to it that's good for you? And it's, medicinally they use it for, I don't know. Indeed, so it's interesting because historically most of the medicines we use today came from some sort of spice or right. herb, right? They have lots of great medicinal properties including some, uh, some things that are toxic to bacteria and they are antibacterial, which is why specifically in Renaissance cooking through the winter, we had heavily spiced meats because we didn't have refrigeration. So spices actually helped to preserve meat. They are very powerful, uh, they're powerful ingredients. But I was saying this earlier, the, the flavor compounds, these VOCs, they are oils, right? They're, so they're oil soluble. And the way to, to look at that, have you ever mixed cinnamon into something and it just sort of sits at yeah, the top. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't mix in, right? No, what now is, the reason what is, is because these, these compounds, they're oils, and we know that oil doesn't mix into water. So when you grind cinnamon, 
Every granule of this cinnamon right there is essentially wrapped in a little bit of oil. It's wrapped in a volatile organic compound. So it's not gonna mix into water in the same way oh. that oil doesn't mix into water, which is why when we have a recipe that calls for, especially in savory cooking, mm -hmm. we fry our spices. And I think Brooke did this earlier in the day when she was making her pasta sauce, she fried that chili that, yeah. you know, that chili powder in oil first. This is how you actually release those VOCs, those volatile ah. organic compounds. You have to cook spices in fat or in oil in order to release those flavors. Ah. Oh. That's why something's That's always smoked. spicier after it's been in the pot for exactly. a long time. Exactly. Yes. What well, with cinnamon though, because cinnamon is so good for you, it's anti-inflammatory as is turmeric, so how can you, if you, instead of taking it in capsule form and you want to just ingest it, can Well, you know, the thing is when we're talking about these things medicinally, you have to take them in such potent quantities that it's not, it's not really an over-the-counter thing that you would buy at home. That, that's actually a different subject. It smells amazing. Doesn't it? Whoa. Because those oils are now released into the and air. that's also great to do before you have a party. That's yes. the truth. The house like, yeah. smells yeah. Yeah. like. If you go to sell your house, you should put it, your whole house will smell like Christmas. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs>